We're going to show you today how we use the Explainer at, Synchroni at the Synchronized Golf Academy and how we think it's a perfect tool to help you improve and, and let you understand and feel the synchronized golf swing from the smallest putt to the longest drive. I'm going to start off by using, using the Explainer uh, in the putting stroke. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the explainer and put it straight up and down or vertical. We're going to take our roller, the short roller, and we're going to choke all the way down on the roller, uh, taking our normal putting grip. Now the putting grip can be, for some of you, like it in the lifelines. For some of you, you like it in the fingers. To me, the really only parameter I have would be that it's on the same angle the same angle as my forearms. By that I mean here it's not on the same angle as my forearms. Now it is. Okay. From there, if I just simply bend over and get ourselves into a good setup position where I'm in a balanced position, my arms are somewhat on my body, and the shaft of uh, of the uh, golf club and my forearms are on the same line. From there, I'm going to set it directly on the rail and I'm just going to get the feeling of using my arms and shoulders and everything together. If you'll notice, I have the longer roller and it's almost reaching my belly and it's, all, it's just like a belly putter. Notice how the butt end of the, of the club stays pointing at the center of my body. That ensures that I'm not getting the club and taking it away with just my hands or I'm not just moving it with my, it, it's not moving out of the center of my body. So uh, I've got myself set up into a good putting setup position where I got my arms and forearms on the same angle. I bend over from the waist where I'm in a balanced position. And then from there, all I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make some strokes, getting the feeling of using my arms and shoulders and everything together and keeping my lower body and my upper body quiet. Just using my arms and shoulders, maintaining this triangle that is formed between my arms and golf club. What I like to do when I use the explain arm when I'm working with my players is I like to use it doing it very, very slowly, starting off very small. And what you'll start to feel is, is from maybe the first six inches, it stays very uh, close to being straight back. And as the stroke naturally gets bigger, it will naturally go more on an arc. And it, the great thing about this aid is it allows you to feel the correct movement, and that's so important. Okay, so we're starting to do it on a very, very slow swing, and, and that's one of the things that will really help us to train and get ourselves to feel it. By doing it slower, it really helps our muscle memory. So we're going to do it very slow and very small. One of the other ways we use the explainer is to close our eyes. So we, we close our eyes, that heightens our feel, thereby getting us the, the sense of, of exactly what we're feeling. So closing your eyes and using the explainer is another great way to do it. And finally, just repetitiveness. Once we've done those two things where we've done it very slow and very small, and then we've closed our eyes, and tried to really get the feeling of heightening the feel uh, with our eyes closed, the final way would just be repetition. And again, I like to take this and anchor it into the center of my body. And I'm just going to go 25 times trying to get the feeling of my arms and body uh, or my arms and golf club and shoulders working together. Notice I have it anchored into my body just like the belly putter. And I'm going to do it 25 times. Use those three simple tips. Uh, three drills using the explainer to help you uh, improve your putting stroke, gain the feel for what it is uh, that, w that is the correct motion, and, and build muscle memory, and it will really help speed up the learning process. And that's what you can expect when you come to the Synchronized Golf Academy and you use the explainer like we do. I'm going to show you how we at the Synchronized Golf Academy use the explainer to hit uh, chip shots, bump and run shots, what I call the lowercase y shot. What we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the explainer and we're going to set it down and get it not vertical. We're going to bring it down a couple notches to plus two. Okay. From there we're going to choke down. I got the smaller roller. I'm going to choke way down on the smaller roller 
and take a neutral grip similar to our full swing. Okay, in the natural chipping, neutral chipping position, we're going to move the ball position and get it just the opposite of our right chest logo if we had, we had one. We're going to take a nice narrow stance with our weight favoring our left side. Okay, from there, I've got my hands right there off the uh, inside of my left heel, and you can see how it's now a lowercase y. That's why I call it the... Uh, the Y shot. Notice how we've taken the loft of the club and kind of de-lofted the club. From there, all I'm going to do is use the rotation of my uh, triangle and my shoulders and body to transport this club. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pivot, use the rotation of my body. If I turn around this way, I'm not doing anything with my hands. I'm just standing here with my triangle or my lowercase y and I'm using the rotation of my body and I got a little bit of use of my lower body to help control the length of the swing and the pace of the swing. That's how we control distance. The length of our arms are, and body are rotating and the pace at which we turn and rotate through. So I've got my setup here as we said with the ball opposite our right instep weight on our left side and our hands ahead of the ball. From there, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lowercase y to waist high going back to waist high coming through. And if I turned around and set it back down, it would still be in the same position. Whatever relationship that we set up with, that's what stays the same. For those of you who struggle, you come through and you try to scoop the ball into the air. And you can see from there, the bottom of your arc will happen behind the ball and you'll be tending to come up on the ball. Notice how this handle of this club is going up, whereas when I do it correctly, the handle of this club is staying down. Notice how my hands are, uh, the club head is below my hands as opposed to being above my hands. And this is huge, this is a master fundamental uh, of what we want to have in, in hitting this Y shot. And the three ways we use the explainer to get this would be once we get ourselves set up into the correct position, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take our lowercase y and we're going to make some really small swings using our body and our hands to keep the club head moving. We're not going to throw the club head at the ball. Very, very important. From there, we're just going to start off making these little small swings using the rotation of our body, making sure the club stays and take it back to, let's say, waist high. And then when you come through, don't let the club head get past knee high. Notice the club head is low, it's not high. And we're just going to make some small swings. The second thing we're going to do is, is we're going to close our eyes. So we can make some swings here just trying to really do it slow. That would be the first way that we use the explainer to try to get that feel. The second way we're going to do it is we're going to close our eyes and make the same motion. Again, we're using our rotation of our body it's okay to have a slight movement. I'm doing it with my eyes closed, trying to get the feeling of allowing my arms, body, and golf club rotate everything the same. And then the third way we do it would just be repetition. I'm going to stand here and do it waist high to when I come through the handle of the club is still below my knees. And we'll do it 25 times. <clears throat> Work on using uh, the explainer and, and hitting using the lowercase y uh, shot where we get set up properly and we swing this club back to waist high going back and then when we come through the club head is below the hands as opposed to when we scoop it into the air. That's how we use the explainer here at the Synchronized Golf Academy. It will help you understand and feel the difference and that's the key uh, to improving faster. I'm going to show you how to use the explainer and how we here at the Synchronized Golf Academy use the explainer to uh, hit a basic pitch shot or what I call uh, swinging the Y from waist high to waist high, which is essentially uh, probably just a go-to shot that allows you to hit the ball with, uh, with whatever loft you've set up, You're using the rotation of your body to hit the ball uh, the, the correct distance. So the first thing we're going to do is, is we're going to take the explainer down probably to about plus two. 
The reason why we do that is a more upright position is because this is going to replicate a wedge which is in a more upright position. So we've, we've got the explainer down into the plus two. From there we're going to choke down on the club. We're going to take our normal short game setup which would be the ball position uh, off the right instep, the weight on our lead side and the hands off opposite our left thigh there. From there what we're going to have is we're, we're not going to have, we're going to have our hands basically pointing somewhat at the center of our body, somewhere in between. We're not going to deal off the club and get it into this lowercase y position. It's going to be more of an uppercase y. Again, the ball position will be somewhere between the right chest logo and in the middle of our stance. From there, all we're going to do is we're going to take this uppercase y and we're going to rotate our arms, golf club, and body from waist high to waist high. And I want you to see that every point in this swing that the, the butt end of this club is pointing directly at the center of my belt buckle. So I've rotated my arms golf club body back and through. And I'm going to control the distance. It's very much a dead hands motion. When we watch Steve Stricker hit these short game shots, he's not loading the club with his wrist because that gives you too much power and you have to decelerate. So it's a very much a uh, wristless uh, position swing. So we're going to, again, we're going to take our setup. We're going to basically just establish this lowercase y or uppercase y, and we're just going to rotate back and rotate through. And this is basically a miniature full swing. We really need to learn how to get the swing correct from waist high to waist high below our waist before we take it up to the next level. When I'm teaching somebody how to play golf, I teach them putt, try to get it right below our knees, a chip, try to get it right below our hips, pitch, try to get it right below our waist, full swing, try to get it right below our uh, shoulders or above our shoulders. So again, we go back, we got our uppercase Y, from there we're going to maintain this triangle and at every point in the swing, this relationship formed between my arms and golf club are staying absolutely, completely together. And no point is my arms passing my body or my body running way out in front. I'm in a very good setup position with, my, with a neutral grip and my hands and arms and elbows are relaxed and I'm just rotating back and rotating through. The further I want to hit it, the bigger I can swing and the faster I can rotate. So we're judging the distance by how, how long is our swing and then how fast or, or the pace of our swing. Work on this basic motion. This is the second key point to a full swing, which would be learning to swing your uppercase Y from waist high to waist high. It'll be a go-to shot around the greens, and it's your uh, second step in, in learning the full swing. I'm going to show you how at Synchronized Golf X. I'm going to show you how we use the explainer to demonstrate the difference between uh, basically a three-quarter swing and a full swing. Uh, what I like to try to teach people to do would be try to learn the swing below your waist first, then get it right below your shoulders, then you can get it right below your head. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the explainer and set it up based on the correct height. I'm going to take my neutral setup position where basically I have the ball position, and I'm standing in the center of the explainer, and my grip is in a neutral position. From there, what we're going to do is we're just going to get this club up to the top where my left arm and the golf club form this letter L, and the, the whole roller is sitting flat on the fin. That's where we want to be. Notice I've got my whole rotation of my upper body my whole left side has rotated back and I'm into this L position. My right elbow has folded, my left arm is extended but not locked. From there I'm going to use my rotation of my body and now I'm going to reverse that angle where now the whole roller is sitting on the uh, fin. My, now my left arm has folded up and my right arm is extended but not locked. So it's equal and opposite. If I were to just take this club, bring it up here in front of me and rotate, there the club would be at waist uh, at, at uh, shoulder high and the same thing over on this side so to show you that again this is what we call the L to L swing we get our normal setup position 
we swing the club back, we let the right elbow fold and the left wrist cock. Now that club is in an L position. If I were to just turn and rotate, now my I would still be in the same position now that I was. So it's a mirror image over here from this side to this side. So again, I take the club back, let the left elbow or the right elbow fold in the left wrist cock, and I come down and through. Now I let the left elbow fold and the right arm extend. Okay? What I see so many people do is in an effort to try to scoop the ball into the air, they get falling back this way and now the club is swinging under and up and they're falling back and now you can see how I'm going to be scooping that ball into the air and the club face will be open I'm going to be hitting a lot of high weak shots that uh, will be toe shots and slices and a number of bad shots so we want to learn to get this swing using this explain R from this L to L swing and that's all that the golf swing is from there, there's nothing more than a continuous turn or load of the shoulders. And now I've completed my swing. My hands are about head high. I've made a huge shoulder turn. My club's at roughly three-quarter position. And now I'm going to rotate all the way through. So learn the swing. Swinging the club back L to L. The transition from there to the full swing is nothing more than once you get into this L position, you continue to turn, and now we're in a good solid backswing position. Use the L to L swing using the explainer to get the club on plane and in sync from shoulder high. From there, if you complete your turn, you've just created and, and made a complete backswing and a simplified, synchronized golf swing. Arms and wrists, and get the feeling of the proper golf swing, and in five minutes, you can get a better golf swing, and build up those golfing muscles. The first thing I'm going to do is I've got the explainer in perfectly vertical position. You can take your short roller. I have my longer roller. I'm going to choke way down on it, and I'm going to get into uh, a putting position. I've choked down all the way through, and basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to get my forearms and the golf club on the same shaft angle. You can see how my forearms in the club are on the same angle as opposed to being on two different angles and I'm just going to bend over at the waist. From there all I want to do is, is I want to make some strokes using my arms and shoulders together as a unit and I want to isolate my lower body and my upper and my head. So I'm going to get myself set up into that angle where I've got my arms and, and forearms and golf club all on the same angle. Bend over so I'm in a good balanced position and now I'm just going to make some small swings moving back and through, trying to feel like my lower body and my upper body are both stable. I'm going to do this maybe 10 or 15 times very slowly. From there, after I've done that 10 or 15 times, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close my eyes and do it another 10 times. After I've done that 10 times, I'm now going to do it with my eyes open and at normal pace another 10 times. Again, trying to make sure that we have our arms and shoulders on the same, uh, and golf club all on the same angle. We're bent over into a balanced position, and that we have a quiet body. We're going to do each one of these exercises first very slowly, secondly with our eyes closed, and then number three at our normal rate, getting ten reps at each one. From there, I'm going to switch over to uh, a chip or a pitch or a waist-high swing. I'm going to take the explainer and bend it down, let's say, uh, to a plus two. I'm now going to let out the shaft. I'm not going to be as upright as I was. As a result, I flattened my angle. From there, I'm going to take a narrower stance and, and take my stance in the center of the circle. From there, all I want to do is, is take my normal setup where I have this lowercase or, or upper, excuse me, this uppercase Y. And now all I want to do is swing my, explain, uh, swing my power roller from waist high to waist high with little to no wrist hinge. We're keeping it pretty short. Notice how I do have maybe just a little wrist hinge, but overall I'm, I'm not going to be real wristy with it. I'm not just going to flip my wrist at it and take it back, arms, golf club, back and together from waist high to waist high. And what I want you to see is the butt end of this club is always pointing right at my belly button. 
waist high to waist high. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is the exact chipping or pitching motion, but what I would say is this is the golf swing in a miniature version from waist high to waist high. Swinging it to here, waist high to waist high. Notice at every point in the swing, my arms, golf club, and body are all swinging together. Okay? And again, I would do it three ways. I would do it, number one, pretty slowly so you can feel that. I would do it 10 reps of those. I would do it 10 reps with my eyes closed so I can heighten the feel. And then I would just do it 10 more times so, uh, to try to gain that strength. And it may be difficult at first. Once you start to get stronger with it, you may want to up the, up the reps a little bit. Okay? The, the third way and the final way I'm going to do it is I'm going to put myself in the full swing setup, and, and you should know at what that level that is. I'm going to take my normal setup now. From there, all I want to do is I'm going to make two types of swings. I'm, I'm going to go and swing this club to where the golf club gets to where my left arm is extended and into this L position where the whole roller is sitting flat on the fin. And I'm just going to swing it from this L position going back to the L position coming through, L position going back, L position coming through. From there, the full swing is nothing more than a bigger shoulder turn. Okay, so you're going to do you're going to do that L to L exercise ten times very slowly. Notice here. It's a mirror image. If I hear my club is in this L position, as I rotate back over here, it again is in this L position. From, I'm going to do it 10 times, nice and slow. I'm going to do it 10 times uh, with my eyes closed to heighten the feel, and I'm going to do it 10 more times to strengthen uh, more for strength. From there, I'm going to do it, after I get into this L position here, all I'm going to do is continue to turn and that is the completion of my backswing where now I've completely loaded up and, and I'm ready to hit the ball. So the only difference between the L swing and the full swing is a complete turn. Work on those. Remember in each exercise, on the putting, on the waist high swing, on the L to L swing, and then the L swing with a full shoulder turn, we're doing it three ways. Number one, we're doing it nice and slowly. Number two, we're doing it with our eyes closed to heighten the sense of feel. And then the third way, we're doing it at normal pace and normal rate just to get the, uh, the extra reps in and, and build strength and speed uh, in our golfing muscles. Use the explainer in that fashion. Five minutes a day, you'll get your golf muscles strengthened and you'll feel and, and, and perform a more on-plane, synchronized golf swing.